Hey guys, Mike from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Here today with my man Drew. Hi guys. Drew, what are we talking about today? What we got here is a 2013 uh, GMC Acadia, and the customer's issue came in with the warning on the dash uh, for engine hot AC off, and it had a code P0128 um, thermostat rationale. Um, pop the cap off this and have a look at what we got and we have good some stuff cream in here within that's not the, normal no it's not no. within the cooling system so that's oil within the cooling system and what did we end up finding that we had well generally you think some kind of oil is getting in with the coolant to mix it all in like that and if you keep looking around a little bit there's a service bolt out there in regards to a porous section of the casting in which the oil pressure which runs at around 60 psi mixes into the cooling system which only runs at about 15 or 16 psi so obviously the higher pressure is going to get forced into the lower pressure portion and this appears to be the situation that we have here so the uh, engine oil on the vehicle is actually clean perfect yes no issues, no issues. transmission oil same Yep. situation is all clean it's just in the cooling system generally if it's transmission this would be a reddish tinge it would have more of a pinkish tinge to it but this is more of a brownish cream color which indicates engine oil so the only resolution to this problem is replacing the engine now what we're doing is replacing it with a uh, known good unit um, it is a better cost savings on getting a replacement engine with a new block um, that can get quite expensive, um, but there is the possibility of later on down the road uh, getting the same kind of issues as these. And this is a pretty straightforward, easy job. This is it's you can do this under the shade tree, right? Under the shade tree, yes. As yeah. long as you got a hoist and lots of know-how. Take a look at what uh, the components that we have around here that's involved in dropping the cradle of the engine, lowering it right down, lifting the uh, vehicle up. And what else do we have to do? We have to replace all of the hoses on this unit. Yes, because they get soft. Um, the radiator hoses are made of rubber, not intended to have any kind of um, engine oil um, going through them. And it softens them up and it swells and they deteriorate quite rapidly. So because we're putting in a new donor engine, we want to make sure that the heart of the vehicle is good as well as all of the hoses so we don't have issues down the road. So we're, we have to change all the hoses, flush out the radiator really, really well. Um, this has a rear heater, so we have to flush out those rear lines as well. Um, it will be labor intensive. Just take a lot of time to make sure it's done right. So there you have it, folks. If you uh, get a code in your 3.6 liter GM, because it's not just the Acadia, We've got several models ranging from the Buick Enclave all the way through the Chevy Impala, uh, Chevy Colorado, Cadillac XTS, and Cadillac uh, SRX. If you get this kind of color coming through, you know what the issue is. Urban Automotive, safety first. Thanks for watching.